Hey guys, welcome back to the ranch. So, today is going to be a little bit of a rant video, once again. Uh, rant videos seem to be a bit the norm lately for me, if it's not a how-to video, that is. Um, whole thing kind of started, as you know, I'm still looking for a job in the United States still applying like crazy at uh, universities and I don't know I'm like at a hundred plus some uh, applications already over there so I've been going at it since uh, January or December last year so I'm getting up there in the numbers and thus far I've had a whole whopping four four interviews and those interviews resulted in zero job offers. Now, rough calculation puts me at about 4% success rate in landing an interview. And that just had to have that sink in a bit. Especially today after I received another uh, rejection from the last interview I had last week which in my mind went really good I mean I felt good I felt like the interview went good with the questions with the answers I was able to get give um, I had another interview that before I already knew when it was over I wasn't gonna get the job because I knew I kinda screwed up the interview um, yeah it's always difficult I'm not used to being badgered by three to five uh, people across from me uh, it's kind of different, I'm not used to that kind of interview style. Uh, and then most of the interviews are after I've already worked a full day, so you're kind of tired and groggy and all that crap. And you're trying to focus, and you're doing it via Skype or other kind of video conferencing software. And, you know, I don't speak English uh, with native speakers anytime, actually. So I haven't been doing that regularly for almost eight years. So then you start to stumble for the words and yada, yada, yada. Anywho, uh, the whole point of this rant is, as you saw in the intro, uh, while I was driving home today, I saw this lovely Toyota, what was it, Sien Sienna or something in front of me, the minivan, and with the California plates on there. Yeah, it's not the first time I've seen that California car here. Uh, it usually parks in the neighborhood here where I live, I guess, to pick up the kids from school and stuff. And being here where I live, you see a lot of foreign license plates. You see a lot of US license plates, you see Russian license plates, you see license plates from Dubai, um, all places like that. And what really irks me about it is that um, those are all the people that, you know, got shipped here. Uh, I'm assuming that now, I might be wrong, but I highly doubt I am, um, that 99.9% .9 of those people do not have to lift a finger to get here. Their company ships them here, it pays everything to get them here, ships their whole household, ships their car here, and all that crap. And the country I live in is so dumb, it just accepts everyone. What I'm also trying to say is, the US is always whining about... Uh, immigrants coming in and taking away their jobs you know the legal immigrants and stuff with the h1b visa stuff now let me tell you it ain't easy getting in over there i've been trying for uh going on 10 or 11 months now it's not that easy so quit whining over here you just come but company gets you a visa and you're good to go it's nothing to do nothing to prove no labor certificates that have to be done no job um postings for that uh, Swiss people can come and all that crap. No, they want to bring them, they bring them. So they'll bring the Russians, they'll bring the Germans, they'll bring the Americans, they'll bring all those people, ship them here, they have a handy dandy lovely life and what happens? It's built up on the backs of the little guys, the low income and the medium income guys and that's just the way life is. It totally sucks, it's totally unfair and there's not a goddamn thing we can do about it, guys. You know? So, that really, really pushes my buttons. And 
I see how hard it is getting a job even over here because you're fighting with all these guys that are coming uh, even now in my segment I'm in IT that's not really you know a high class segment when I where I'm in I'm not managerial or whatever you want to call it I'm just a regular working guy plugging away his eight hours a day and you know you always got to fight with all these foreigners coming that come with a uh, lower salary expectations because frankly they come here they get paid more than they get paid in their home country and they're like wow they get paid so much and for me it's like yeah i can't survive on that i'm sorry and so you're screwed so then you try to go to the foreign countries and of course you don't want to go to all of them so america's a good one to go to for example but it's not easy getting there, guys. It's not. Don't let the politicians fool you. Legal immigration is extremely difficult to achieve in the United States. And I still see and know about people who somehow manage to land it over their H-1B visa stuff. And then I got to ask myself, what the hell am I doing wrong? But then I talk to my co-workers my colleagues my friends and they just you know keep telling me to keep going don't give up and stuff and it's right um the only time you're ever going to lose in life is if you give up so moral of the story is guys don't ever give up uh no matter what the people tell you no matter how many times you fail just get back up again and keep trying it's the same with me i failed now on four interviews great so i now i know how not to do it for the four times I did it but it doesn't mean I'm not going to stop trying because I have this pesky little problem I don't feel at home where I am I feel at home over there and it's a story for another video not this rant but you know it's like they always use the Thomas Edison example how many thousands of light bulbs he had to do until he finally figured out the combination to get the light bulb to work. And what did he say? Oh, I found X thousand amounts of ways how to not to make a light bulb. And in the end, you only need one functioning way to make one. Or in my case, I just need one acceptance or one job offer or just one place that'll give the little guy a job, you know, give him a chance. And yeah, I consider myself a, a little guy because I consider IT to be nothing more than a labor job these days. The glory days are over back in the 80s and 90s. And over here in Europe, we never even had those glory days because frankly, back in the day, it was far too expensive to even have those. We couldn't afford those computers, the technology stuff. It never ever came over here. I mean, if I think back, the first computer that we had was a Pentium 1 uh, we bought it well my grandma had to buy it for us for me and my sister for school and stuff came with a 15 inch color monitor printer speakers all that stuff it cost fifteen thousand dollars over here fifteen thousand dollars let that sink yeah let it sink in fifteen thousand dollars so those were the glory days of IT. They're long over. We're just cheap labor. Very cheap labor. And guess what? My cheap labor is getting outsourced to even places that are even cheaper. Yeah. Even over here, we're outsourcing stuff. We're going to Romania. We're going to India. We're going all to those fun places. But uh, the moral of the story is, guys, if you're on the low end of the totem pole, just like me, don't give up no matter how bleak things seem uh sure you'll get down and you'll feel mad you'll feel frustrated hey i've been feeling like crap all day um but you know just talk about it with your friends talk about it with your family or just talk about it with youtube let the world listen to you if they want it uh just let it out somehow and remember just keep going uh work hard dream big work on your dreams don't give up because that's what I'm I'm going to do. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to let people dictate uh, how my life's supposed to be. There's so much stuff where I can't uh, make a difference, where I can't influence any changes. But I think this is a part where I can do it. And so God will, one day 
I'll manage. I'll manage to get back home, what is home for me, and everything will be hopefully good again. Thanks, guys, for listening to my rant. Uh, comment and subscribe if you like. Thumbs up if you like. Thumbs down if you don't like. Hey, it's a free world. Do as you please, right? And uh, I'll see you guys soon.